Now, here's some of what caught our attention around the African continent this week, and VOA's Paul Sisko put it all together for us. Desperate Somalis continue to flee Mogadishu, following days of intensified violence between government forces and Islamic insurgents. The leadership is appealing for help from the international community, and a state of emergency has been declared. Somalia's parliament speaker, Sheikh Aden Mohamed Madube. We are requesting our neighboring countries to intervene militarily into Somalia for the sake of the survival of the government. About 300 people have been killed in Mogadishu since May. Zimbabwean expatriates in London heard from Prime Minister Morgan Changarai this week. Zimbabweans must come home. The appeal angered the audience who chanted, Mugabe must go, Mugabe must go. President Mugabe was one of the African leaders attending the Southern African Development Community Summit in Johannesburg. The leadership group has urged Madagascar's political leaders to resolve their differences through peaceful dialogue. SADC chairman and South African president Jacob Zuma. We believe that peace will be achieved if all parties to the conflict are committed to the process. The group vowed to step up efforts to restore order in Madagascar. In Burundi, citizens celebrated the opening of a new hospital. Humanitarian Marguerite Barankisi raised $350,000 from private donors for the new facilities. Dear brothers and sisters, this hospital is a product of love and solidarity. It is now yours. It is a hospital that should bring out the love of our neighbors and human solidarity. Her passion is for the orphans in her country. Next to Rwanda, where African soccer stars played a charity match this week, raising several thousand dollars for children orphaned during the 1994 genocide. Finally, also in Rwanda, fun and games, song and dance at the naming ceremony for 18 rare baby mountain gorillas, not shown here. The annual event highlights efforts to conserve the endangered species. Paul Sisko, VOA News.